What's going on guys, Ryan with Jetta Patrol back with another video and today we're going to be unboxing Hot Toys Venom Pool. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video. Hope you guys are doing well because I've got some exciting news included in today's video that you are not going to flip and believe. So I'm just, I'm, I'm a little excited about this one. I gotta be honest with you. I had a lot of uh, awesome figures coming in bound. Uh, this one being one of them and I think it's super freaking cool. So Hot Toys Venom Pool. Now this thing, obviously you can see the box is magnificent. It is huge. Uh, it's, it's about twice the size of a normal six scale figure box. Uh, but it, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. So we got Contest of Champions going on down in the bottom. We got uh, Venom Pool uh, Video Game Masterpiece number 35 right there. Six scale collectible figure on the front. And then we've got some uh, continuation of what's going on here on the side. On the back, we've got all the whodunit stuff. It's a box, you know, it's, it's, it's huge and it is what it is. But you guys are not here to look at a box. Let's go ahead and see what's in it. Here we've got him out of the box. You can see it is a it's a pretty ginormous figure. We're gonna do some comparisons with this guy, uh, with the regular Deadpool, and we might even break out Gladiator Hulk a little later on to see the size difference. And you gotta be asking yourself, why on earth uh, did Hot Toys make this? If you're a, a fan of the video game, uh, that would be one reason. And if you're a fan of anything awesome, uh, that might be another reason. But we got a whole pile of stuff here. And I thought this was fun. I actually have this right here. The uh, One of the things that kind of stood out to me, this is the uh, pistol that comes with the regular Deadpool. Just to give you an idea of scale, check this out. This is this is the regular six scale Deadpool. And if I can get this guy actually out of this, there we go. Here is the one here for Venom Pool. Significant, significant difference. So I just wanted to show that to you just to give you an idea of just how large uh, this fella is because he is freaking huge. So look at everything it comes with. We've got some interchangeable eye plates, which look to be magnetic, uh, just like any other Spider-Man or Deadpool figure. Uh, so we obviously we got a set there. We got two sets here. We've got a, a phone here that says uh, urgent call. And on the back, check out that high gloss. Boom, that's some high, you don't wanna get fingerprints on that. You need a foam protector. Uh, urgent call looking right there, pretty cool. And it's it's substantial, it's, it's a nice piece. I do like the Deadpool logos, so that's kinda of cool. Again, we just looked at the uh, pistol he comes with. Uh, one of the cool things I thought about, uh, was cool about this particular piece, not only that the paint app has got this metallic finish to it, as you guys can see there. Uh, we got a nice uh, uh, grips going on here, so it's nice, but check out the slide. The slide is actually, spring action so that's kind of cool kind of dig that boom you got round in the chamber right there always if you're going to be uh, having a firearm you should have one in the chamber just throwing that out there safety wise uh let's see this should come off if it's just like any other piece boom we've got one right there i dig it there's your round that's a super cool piece hot toys always does a really good job with their uh, their pistols or rifles or whatever uh so i really dig this one this is a pretty cool piece it's got his little got his little sights going on there look at that boom line them up and uh that's just a cool piece i kind of dig that one so there's that put that to the side we do have a whole pile of hands let's see where are we gonna go let's go with these right here so we've got some uh, fists. These are actually gonna be for holding his uh, katanas. So we'll look at those in a little bit, but these are pretty super cool. Look at the nails. Look at the high gloss on these nails. That is crazy cool. There's your peg for the, put it in the wrist. And you can see like the texturing going on here. We've got some veins poking through the actual texture of the suit. And I don't know, that's just a cool piece. I love how they do these things. I'm a real big fan of those. So these are gonna be for the katana holding hands. We'll put those to the side. Then we're gonna have uh, two, if I can throw stuff around. We're gonna have two fisted hands, which are gonna be pretty simple. We see these with most uh, six scale figures anyways. Uh, again, with the nails, which I think is a pretty nice touch. So two fisted hands. Uh, we're gonna have uh, two open hands that are actually still on the figure. We'll look at those a little, a little bit. Uh, we've got a pointing finger hand. I really kind of dig this one as well. So that one's pretty neat. Look, it's focusing on his face. Um, but yeah, so this one's gonna be kind of cool for some different fun poses. And then we've got this one, which is gonna be for the actual pistol. So this is just pistol grabbing um, right there. So again, 
Super cool. So there's that. Uh, what else we got? We've got eyes. We've got some tongues. These tongues, I would imagine, kind of plug in based on, yeah, there's a little uh, keyhole right there. So I imagine they're going to plug into the mouth. They are, if you can, I don't know how well it's going to come across, but there's some purple in here. It's not solid black. There's definitely some purple going on. Really deep, deep purple going on with these tongues. And there's some actually on the suit uh, as we look at that in a little bit, but that's pretty cool. Maybe you see that shimmering in the light a little, a little bit. Uh, but we've got one tongue going uh, that way. We've got another tongue which is just a little bit just going a different way and a little longer so look at the high gloss these things actually look it looks wet looks like a tongue symbiote wet tongue right so that's super cool all right so eye plates we'll kind of break those out we'll we'll know more about those when we actually get the uh the figure out here but these are magnetic so we're gonna have a super squinty eye right there look at that thing dude i love the like the little staples he's got going on right here for the eyes to kind of connect them in that's that's cool so there's a squinty eye and then we take this other one uh we've got more of a almost squinty eye and then of course he's got a wide open eye actually on the figure so we'll take these guys out put them over here are you guys enjoying this is anybody picking this figure up it is humongous to say the least uh it, it's, it's a large figure so here we go this is exactly what you're gonna look like when you get it out of the box and uh let's go ahead and do this thing it is huge all right let's go ahead and uh dude look at all this plastic they throw in here let's get all this stuff out of here if hot toys is going to be nice and throw a super tight tape on it oh nope that wasn't bad sometimes if you guys are unboxing these things you know how they are with these tape uh where it's just super crazy and uh hard to get off the boots and whatnot and then other times it's not difficult at all this actually doesn't seem that tough um but i told you guys there was gonna be something awesome as part of this video and that's me not being able to take the tape off of this to get the arm off um but there's uh there's definitely some good news going along with this figure uh, you may know this figure doesn't necessarily fit into my collection so the question you might be asking is why did i get it uh and there is a good reason why i got it so we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit uh, i'm gonna get this all this stuff off here a little bit take a closer look at him uh let's see what's on the bottom of the box Ooh, what the heck okay all right let's see what the heck we got going on down here i have no idea this is legit this is me opening the box i have no idea what's in there so obviously we're going to get some katanas there's no question we were going to get those those are nice check out that a little uh wrap they've got going leather like wrap it's obviously not leather uh but leather like i like those that's cool i imagine that's where it plugs in the back and then we've got some katanas which should come up yeah okay these are plastic now if you got the other deadpool figures those are actually metal these are 100 percent plastic um but there it is there's the wrap it would have been nice if they were metal i don't know why they didn't do the metal because they've done like a lot of other ones metal uh, but there's that um, but it's a nice little wrap it's got a nice uh leather like appearance to it weathering whatnot the brown color looks good digging that we've got some what the heck symbiote oh, holy long batman symbiote uh tentacles no joke you could you could poke somebody's eye out with this thing this is crazy what are you thinking hot toys that's dangerous look at that that's crazy look how long these are holy that's huge like these are no joke these are longer taller than the fig that's crazy all right so we got some of these and then we've got some of these uh tentacle effects these are squishy kind of like a gelatin kind of deal um there you go man that's crazy i don't know how we're going to pose up with that thing just yet uh we'll have to figure that out but uh let's go ahead and get all that plastic stuff off and uh, see what this guy looks like. So here we go, guys, right off the bat. Uh, handling this figure, this is unlike any figure I've ever held by Hot Toys. It is really kind of odd. Like you can tell that this, this is like a squishy material, but underneath, when you move the arms, just like picking it up, listen, I don't know how else Mike can pick this up, but you hear that? It's, uh, it's really like, it's almost like there's a, I mean, you got a ratchet there, but it's almost like there's a large metal spring in there and it kind of goes boing a little bit. It's really, it's really odd. But first off, guys, let's look at this portrait. Holy cow, this thing is unflipping believable. These teeth are sick. I mean, do you need a Venom Pool figure in a collection? I don't know. But if you had one, I think a lot of people would think it is pretty awesome. 
mean, this thing, I mean, look at this. Here's what I'm talking about with the stapling going on with the eyes. And these are just magnetic. You can just literally just pop these things off uh, just like that. You can see the magnet in there and they go on fairly simple. Uh, just like that with like with Spider-Man figures or other Deadpool figures. Uh, but the teeth, I mean, you can see the bone paint they've got going on where it's darker down in the bottom, the roots, it gets lighter. And that it, it actually does look like bone. You guys can see it right there. It looks crazy. Uh, we can see inside the mouth there. That's where the tongues actually go. So we'll have to figure out how we want to do with that. It looks a little weird without the tongue. I don't know. Yeah, it looks, it looks a little odd without the tongue, so I think you gotta use one of those if you wanna display it in a way that makes sense. Uh, the head is definitely a sculpted piece. This is not fabric. This is definitely sculpted. But the material here, look at the neck. Like, I'm pushing in here. So there's a body or skeletal frame underneath all this stuff. And the, I guess the question would have to be, uh, in regards to that, is how long will that last? It feels like it's fairly durable. I don't know. I mean, I, I, it's gonna depend on your climate, but it's gonna, it feels fairly durable. In there but i kind of i like it because i think it's going to give us a good range of motion when we get the posing this thing up and have some fun with it uh, but we'll we'll figure that out in a little bit we do have some nice uh straps going on here nice paint jobs going on uh as far as that goes it's it's not the best paint app for leather stuff that i've ever seen but it also might be because it's based on an animated video game and it might be you know just more along that lines but i think like if we looked at the uh, Hot Toys Mandalorian, like these bucket um, uh, pockets and whatnot on here. I think they did a better job on that one. And it, even the Solo Deluxe figure, I think those look a little more realistic. These look definitely more, I would say game-like, I guess, if you will. Uh, but they're not bad. They're not bad. It's a nice little Deadpool uh, high gloss, like metallic logo. That's plastic though. Uh, but it's not bad. So you see all this super high gloss stuff going on here with the symbiote. Then he's got the staples going along here as well. And inside here, if I get in here, and I don't know how well it's going to pop up, but there's actually some purplish, sorry for the focus. Um, there's actually some purplish, there you go. You can kind of see it in there. Uh, it is actually dark, dark veins of purple kind of coming through here. Um, you can see it maybe right in here. This vein right here is dark purple, and then the rest of it is black. This high gloss material is pretty freaking cool. And then on the back, this is gonna be where our uh, Katana uh, Sabres uh, hilts uh, line up there. We plug it in there. And just everything about this is pretty freaking cool. He's definitely, uh, he definitely skipped leg day. If you look at this guy, he definitely skipped leg day. So here we go. We've got all, he, he, he loves shoulders. He's all about shoulders and chest. We definitely skipped leg day, but he's got a good hip. Like the balance there. Like he doesn't have like the dad bod or anything. Um, it's really, it's really kind of odd. It feels like the feet, and I'm sure this is what is designed in the game, but it feels like the feet is like maybe an inch short for him. But it just is what it is, right? That's just the design of the figure. So, but just proportions wise, in person, it looks a little, I mean, you guys can probably tell, it looks really heavy up here, a little short. He's, anyways, it was what it is. Uh, we got these pro, cool little uh, handcuff type deals here with these little chains on them. Like he's broke off the chains, so that's kind of nice. These are definitely loose. I have a feeling over time, if you maneuver this so much, that is definitely gonna wear down that material. Uh, I would 100% think that would happen if you're not careful. This is plastic, by the way. But it is painted, it's nice, it's painted nice, it's okay. But I think that, that would definitely wear down the material uh, over a period of time, so be careful with that. Uh, here's our other set of hands, which is gonna showcase all these nice little manicured fingernails. And here you can see all the veins and stuff going on even underneath the suit. So it's a pretty cool piece. Uh, down on the bottom, you can hear that ratchet, guys. Uh, down on the bottom, we've got, uh, again, all these pockets on going on here, uh, uh, one on the right thigh. We've got the chains and these little, um, I guess really chains uh, right here, uh, cuffs, restraints going on here on the, both legs. And then on the bottom, everybody's like, well, show me the feet. Here's the feet. We've got some nice tread going on on the feet, uh, which is pretty nice. So I kind of dig it. But just like maneuvering it around, you can hear the ratchets. There's your ratchet there. So it's going to go up pretty far as far as that goes. That's kind of nice. And then I guess we can get in some posing here. Boom. Look at that. That's not bad. That's not bad. I like that it ratchets. And you can go backwards a pretty good amount too. If I can get this arm out of the way, sorry guys. Um, but it actually can go back a pretty good amount. That's not bad at all. Arm wise, let's see if we can't get a bend out of it. Oh yeah. 
Now, I have a feeling though, if you bend that to just like this, you can see that material is like really soft. Uh, if you bend that for too long, I can imagine this material sticks to itself. I had a uh, Scarlet Spider uh, and the Advanced Suit Spider-Man, which is a, I don't know what's the same. This is a lot like rubber. This feels a lot like rubber. Um, but over time, if you have this tightening like that, it literally will stick to itself. And then when you take it off, it's, it almost peels. Uh, from itself it's kind of crazy uh, but there's that you got that uh, shoulder wise you got plenty of movement going on here torso twist uh, it's pretty much loose here it's pretty much I guess that would be it's very very loose right there I can get a lot of movement uh, out of that and then knees Whew. that's got a lot of movement guys a lot of movement a lot of movement so uh, let's go ahead and get this guy down and uh, pose him up. All right, guys, so I got this guy put together. It took a minute. I got to be honest with you. This is not the, it's not the easiest figure to pose. I'm not, it's definitely way better than if you had like a first order stormtrooper. Like that's, that's like way hard. This one, it just takes a little bit more uh, maneuver, some patience. This one takes some patience. Uh, but just some highlights of spending like two minutes with this figure, okay? Um, it, it, it is super fun. Uh, it definitely is uh, it's something you gotta balance because of the, the weight. He's got a lot of weight mass going on up top. There is a good amount of pivot. You can hear the ratchets going on there. So there's a good amount of pivot there to get him balanced. And they are locked. They're, like, they're not going anywhere, so that's kind of nice. Um, these guys right here are super bendable. You can bend these guys pretty much wherever you like. The little tentacles, the little symbiote. Uh, material if you will uh, which I think is pretty cool and you can have some fun creative poses with that the tongue is pretty cool uh, I dig being able to change those up the eyes are pretty fun the hand uh, I, I only changed this hand out the hand I uh, wanted to pop off uh, fairly easily uh, and I was having a hard time getting it uh, to actually peg uh, correctly in I didn't try all the other hands yet uh, but this one I was able to get it on there but when I started to rotate it uh, on that ball joint, it wanted to pop off. So be careful with that if you happen to uh, pick up this figure. Other than that, I think the figure freaking looks beautiful. I really, uh, it's just, it's it's crazy enough to be cool on a shelf. If that, if that makes sense? Uh, it's crazy enough to be cool on a shelf. I really kind of dig it. I like that it's not all solid black. There's like purple veins going on. And I like all the purple going on in the tongue. And I know it's probably not showing up all that great on camera. Um, because it is actually even in person it's rather it's rather dark uh, but with the light on it you can actually see the purple veins going on there the staples I think are amazing I'm really big fan of that the material I think will last I, I feel like that will last um, but you can see if I put back here look at these calves look how much movement like that's there's that how how long would that material last I have no idea and I think just the the you can feel the legs the leg joint down there that actual calf muscle uh, and the structure, like down here, is fairly thin. Uh, it's almost like it's a uh, bowed out, like it's carved out of that uh, shin bone. That's kind of weird, actually. Uh, the the uh, upper thigh is fairly thick. Uh, the ball joint down here on the foot is nice because you can get that pivot uh, wherever you want with the foot. But I think it's a pretty cool looking figure. And if you are a Deadpool collector, then I think you kind of need, if you're a Venom collector, I think you kind of need this. Um, if you are just a casual collector, uh, this may not be the figure for you, um, but uh, let's have some fun with it and break out a couple other figures. So I've got one sitting right here, which you've probably seen back here on the shelf, uh, but I've actually got the regular six scale Deadpool from Deadpool 2 right here, and I've had him posed up with his unicorn for a good while. Uh, but these guys can point at each other, I guess. And you can see just the size difference between these guys. Um, it is actually significant, significant. And these guys can do like the Spider-Man, uh, the Spider-Man meme where they pose at each other like this, like this. But you can see the, the significant size difference. Like that's, it's quite, it's quite funny actually. Uh, I don't think he's as big as Gladiator Hulk and I'll have to grab Gladiator Hulk. Uh, he's up there. I can tell you right now, I, I don't think there's anywhere near he's that, he's that, uh, that size. And certainly he's not Hulkbuster size. Uh, but um, I mean, just saying, look, this is, this feels like something Deadpool would do with him, like Deadpool with Deadpool, uh, Venom pool. I feel like would be a pretty cool combination going there. The colors wise, uh, the Deadpool two. In case you're wondering, you can. I think you can pretty well see it on camera. The Deadpool two suit is definitely darker than the uh, Contest of Champions, uh, Champions Venom pool suit. Definitely different. 
uh, as far as shading goes, but I, it's, it's not so far off as to say, hey, it's not, you know, it's not a Deadpool thing, uh, but it is definitely um, different. So that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead, and I wasn't planning on this, but let's go ahead and get Gladiator Holt because I know somebody's going to ask him, put him next to Gladiator Holt. Uh, so let me go get him and uh, let's see what he looks like. One of the best hot toy figures ever made, in my opinion. I'm going to throw it out. It's just, it's just epic. Uh, and then Venom Pool right here. So clearly, Gladiator Hulk has got him. So his head comes up to about Gladiator Hulk's shoulders. It's about how it works out. Uh, definitely more mass here. I mean, this guy right here, solid figure. There's no, like, there's none of this pushy, foamy stuff here. This guy's just flat solid. And honestly, given the two, Give, if I was given the choice between one of the two, I would take Gladiator Hulk 100% of the time. But that's because I, I'm partial to it because I think it's one of the best figures Hot Toys uh, has ever made. Uh, and also Thor, uh, Thor Ragnarok is one of my favorite Marvel movies, so I might be a little bit biased on that. Uh, but he does look epic. I'm just, look at all this stuff, man. Got the, got the Hulk, he's got the interchangeable, it's just, anyways, I, I don't, that's a thing. We're gonna talk about this guy. This guy is super cool. Now, there was one thing I didn't tell you guys. I guess I should. Let me get Deadpool out of here and we'll get Gladiator Hulk out of here so I can kind of get in here and chat uh, for a minute. Um, now, normally with figures, all right, I will put them in piles of poses. I will change out like all the accessories and all these little eye plates and cell phones and, and all this kind of stuff. Uh, you can get the weapons and I, who knows, I probably did some posing in this video and. Uh, I, I don't even know yet, um, but by the time you're watching this, guys, uh, here's the thing. This guy does not belong in my collection. He just doesn't. So uh, I'm going to send him to one of you. That's right, guys. We're going to give this guy away. This is actually a 50,000 subscriber giveaway piece donated by Collector's Own. And let me tell you what, Marcos over Collector's Own has been amazing. And they've got crazy deals going on right now for Black Friday, but that's really not why we're here. But if you want to check that out. Uh, you can do so. So we're giving this guy away. So that's why I didn't want to push it too crazy as far as posing and articulation and kind of go, because I would hate to break somebody's figure. I would hate to do that. So if it was mine, I'd pose the crap out of it. I'd bend it. I wouldn't even worry about it. And it would just, I would just do that. Okay. But since this is going to go to somebody out there who's supporting the channel, uh, I didn't want to go too too crazy with it. So oh, here's the contest rules. Number one, when we hit 50,000 subscribers, we're going to pick a winner from the following ways. This is how you're gonna enter. You ready? This is how you do it. Obviously, you gotta be subscribed to the channel. So if you haven't, which I know 50% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed. So you gotta subscribe. So that's number one, you gotta subscribe to uh, Jetta Patrol YouTube. So it's just one of those things. Also, you gotta follow me on Instagram, which is at Jetta Patrol. I'm super easy to find. Obviously, that's you need to do that. Uh, and uh, you need to join the Facebook group. So we're gonna keep it simple. Uh, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, join the, uh, the Jettas Patrol Facebook group. And obviously we want to support Collector's Own because Marcos over there is being amazing. So we're gonna do two things for them. One, we want you to follow the Collector's Own on Instagram and I will put a link for all this stuff down below. You have to check that out. But they also have the Collector's Own Cantina, which is their own Facebook group where he drops crazy deals, announcements, all kinds of stuff on there. And you need to check that out because honestly, Honestly, the benefits from being in the Collector's Own Cantina, I can't even tell you because it is crazy. So if you like uh, hot toys, if you like uh, Sideshow uh, Six Scale stuff, statues, uh, Iron Studios, whatever, I mean, they art prints, rare stuff, memorabilia, collectibles, that kind of stuff. He's got all that stuff on there. And you can use the discount code PATROL at checkout and save 5% on anything on their site. But um, yeah, definitely do that. So subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, join the Facebook group. Follow Collector Zone on Instagram, join the uh, Collector Zone Cantina on the Facebook group, and that's what you gotta do. So when we hit 50,000 subscribers, we're gonna come back and we're gonna pick a winner. So how are we gonna pick? On this video, on this video, okay, I want you to comment down below, any comment you want, don't even care, and I need your Instagram handle because we're gonna pick, we gotta be able to contact you. I gotta be able to find you. So I need you to do that. So if you're not on Instagram, uh, what are you waiting on? Go join Instagram, follow us on Instagram. It's one of those things, Facebook, all that kind of fun stuff. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So comment down below when we hit 50K, we're gonna do a random comment picker. We're gonna pick a winner in the United States. I gotta throw that out there. It's gotta be in the United States, guys. And uh, we're gonna give away this guy. This is a significant prize. This is a this is not like a $20 thing. This is a significant prize. It is crazy cool. The box is humongous as you guys saw. Uh, and you're gonna be getting this exact figure. So I'm gonna try my best 
not to break it. So I want to say thank you to Marco Silver Collector Zone for uh, for this giveaway because honestly, it's just ridiculous cool. I love this. I love this. It's super cool. Love it. Anyways, that's all I got, guys. Um, enter the contest. Best of luck to whoever is out there. And thanks for uh, supporting the channel. Thanks for 50K because honestly, it's epic and we got a lot of cool stuff coming up. So stay tuned. As always, click what you like. See you next time.